a data ecosystem, like a natural ecosystem, has this interconnected array of people and organizations that are all helping to create data for decision making. Traditionally, its government organizations are really the central collectors of data and also they use this data to make decisions that inform how our communities look and how people are able to live in those communities. Because of the legacy of how data and technology has been developed and used, it has deeply racist origins and deeply harmful origins to communities of color. Uh, well, who collects the data? What is the format? Has it been useful uh, in the past? And the answer to those questions is typically no. Historically, there's this sort of intentional wall that has been placed between everyday folks and dominant institutions, governments, universities, who's going to figure it out by creating a statistical equation that's going to solve the problem. Data are a reflection of the agendas and desires of the people that created these systems. Made for Health Justice is a partnership between the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and the De Beaumont Foundation. MADE stands for Modernized Anti-Racist Data Ecosystems. MADE for Health Justice is an initiative that is accelerating the development of health-focused local data ecosystems that are community-governed and driven by the principles of anti-racism, equity, justice, and community power. There are four communities that are partnering with us in Made for Health Justice. Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Tucson, and Portland. These data systems that were grounded in racism have had centuries to run carte blanche. I don't think you can really have an effective approach to meeting the community's needs if you don't involve a community at every step along the way. We're really asking communities to try to dismantle systems that took centuries to be built. The approach of this project is really about acknowledging racist practices of the past, racist policies and other things that have really held certain communities back. Communities of color are organizing their own information, their own knowledge they can use to support better decision making at the government level, to advocate for more resources, to distribute resources. And so we have to give communities the time and the resources they need to create a data ecosystem that is truly community led and community governed. You can really relate our local data ecosystem to a community garden. No community garden only grows onions. You want strawberries too, you want pears, you want basil. Same with your data ecosystem. You want a diversity of data so that it makes a resilient and valuable data ecosystem. The city's role in it is to build a shared space where we work on projects together, make decisions together, with the ultimate goal of shifting power out of the hands of government to community organizations. What makes me hopeful is we have an amazing opportunity with this Made for Health Justice project to be able to do something new, to change the way systems have traditionally done things. If there's not a large project or a movement to try to change things, I feel like we'll just end up sticking with the status quo. One of the most beautiful things that I learned from the Baltimore team, they want to create a data ecosystem that's ultimately run by the youth that are informing the data today. If the data is not correctly gathered or analyzed, then this can, it can lead to a completely different misinterpretation and it can cause for many people to, you know, not get the help and support that they need. Data ecosystems that have intergenerational impact and reach is really powerful. We all fighting for the same thing. As long as you got people of every type of culture, it all helps everybody. We want the city to do better so we can get better houses, better education. It's a really unique and powerful opportunity because when folks feel like they've invested and been a part of the research, they use it. Now we have the ability through MADE to do a fund development to keep us going without having to depend on grants. This will give us more leeways to do it our way. So here in the Pittsburgh area, we are actually mapping out who's connected, who's not connected, so that when we have our Community Justice Data Collaborative, we really have a group who can work together to impact change. 
even in just a meeting yesterday, we talked about how our work will be institutionalized into the city of Pittsburgh. Another way that the MADE grant has really helped us is the networking with the other communities around the country. Communities from Portland and Tucson and Pittsburgh, our friends over there. I think we've really learned from each other and developed some best practices that have moved the work forward. There are a lot of communities that are ready to start putting their knowledge to work. There's a lot more work to do, and we're excited to do it. And it will take time, and it will take people and resources to create data ecosystems that are anti-racist and equitable, just, and power-shifting. And we're really excited to do that work in partnership with the MADE communities.